today is a magnificent day. We're going to the airport to pick up my sister. It's not a regular country they're coming from. It's the country in the war. They'll be safe and uh, we'll be able to keep them safe. This is one of the proudest moments I've had on George the Rescue. I'm gonna make sure that the house suits what this family's gonna need. They're going to be so happy. <laughs> Life-changing surprises, you didn't tell us that. transformations, and reveals. No! Ah! When families and communities come together, anything is possible. This is George the Rescue. Hi, I'm Milan. Hi, I'm Oksana. Welcome to our home. Get her foot. Get her foot. Ah! This is in Ukraine when they took me to my grandma's village. All of these people are in Ukraine. Some of them unfortunately passed away. Some of them are still there. That's where I came from to the States in 1995. I am incredibly proud of being Ukrainian. And it's withstanding such a huge force and power and still standing. Breaking news, of course, as war unfolds in Ukraine this morning. Explosions and sirens heard in and around Kyiv. Thousands trying to get out. Families torn apart. Not everyone is leaving. Quite a few are trying to keep their cities up and running and staying put. My entire family is in Ukraine. I'm here basically by myself. I have my two sisters there, my mom, my nephews, my sisters, grandchildren and my um, my cousins my aunt is still there they're stuck in gridlock or unable to fill their cars with the gas needed to get out i feel a very deep feeling of knowing that i cannot do anything to help Oksana and Mill are committed to bringing their Ukrainian family members to the United States. But this is no easy feat. There are countless logistical and emotional challenges. Since the war started, they have been living in a constant state of worry. My family was very uncertain of what to do. My sister was able to take her daughters-in-law away from Ukraine. And ever since she has been traveling back and forth, Poland and back, to see her husband and her sons. We all are worried about my nephews because they are young. One of them is in forces and the other one is in militia and she doesn't know if she will see them next day. It's difficult but um, you know none of our family has been directly harmed uh, yet uh, so you know that's been a good thing. Four of Oksana's family members are currently planning to flee Ukraine and move into this New Jersey house. Space is limited and time is of the essence. This is where we come in. It will be a true honor to help make this heartbreaking transition feel as seamless, safe, and welcoming as possible. So when my family decided that they are leaving Ukraine and Sofia, who is six years old, was told, Sofika, you have to pack only necessary things for you. And she was giving a little suitcase and she started packing her belongings and she looked at her mom and she said, I'm very sorry that we will never be back again. So it would be very, it would be very nice if when she comes here, she would feel like she's home. Oksana, how are you? Oh, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> it was total by surprise. I was like, knock on the door. I'm not expecting anyone. Do you? No. Like, okay, who is it? George? <laughs> I'm sorry what, why I'm here and what you're going through. This is a, a very different type of George to rescue. You're leading the rescue on this one. You're bringing your family over from Ukraine. To be able to share with Oksana and Mill that I was going to be able to help them 
with their mission of bringing her family over to live with them is one of the proudest moments I've had on George the Rescue. It's just like I'm, I'm getting emotional every time when I'm thinking about how much people appreciate love and think about what's going on in the world. What I feel is touched to the bottom of my heart. I can only imagine how traumatic this is for everybody involved. But what I want to do is play to what we do best, and that is showcase community and comfort and really do something special for a family that's affected by this war. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Filtreat Air Filtration Products. For more info, go to filtreat.com. There they are. Hello. What's up, man? How are you? How are you? Oksana and Mill have been doing a lot of hard work behind the scenes getting her family over here. The last thing they should have to worry about is how they're going to make it all work once they are in the house. And I have assembled an amazing team. My friend Ryan Hodgson is our contractor. My dear friend Levette Schrem is our designer. Our mission here is to get this family who's coming from such a terrible situation to kind of give themselves a little bit of a home, feel comfortable. Since the war in Ukraine has broken out, we as individually, as a family, have been trying to figure out what we can do to make an impact and to contribute. And being part of this rescue is like a little way to hopefully make a big impact on a family. So this is Mill and Oksana's room. We have their daughters in the other two rooms, and that's it for rooms on this floor. I think the current primary suite is gonna be the perfect space for the family coming over. There's space, there's light, there's a separate room where the kids can sleep and spend some time. And then this is Mill's office. Okay. But this could be a good, you know, bedroom for Oksana I and mean, Oksana. It's like a suite because you have the ensuite bathroom. Yeah. We could turn could this into a closet. And that would be an amazing walk-in. What could we do to make this just like more comfortable for them? I mean, I, I'm I'm definitely sweating. I don't know, like. I think we're gonna add a little bit of air conditioning. Um, okay. Just from being up here, it's yeah. pretty hot. We could get that done pretty quick, so. Good, actually that's, you know, always George Rescue, it's like we're on the clock, but this yeah. one, like really, like tickets are bought. The family's gonna be here in three weeks. Wonderful. So, yeah. Yes. We, we lack literally... No we pressure. Start, yeah. We no can start pressure. Finishing today, that That's would be ideal. Okay. The, this family is coming, and when they come, they want to come to a space where it's like a refuge, where it's beautiful and safe and clean. I think if any team can do it, George's team can get it done. Helping us out with air conditioning here at Mill and Oksana's house, we have MCN distributors delivering a ream condenser and air handler, which my buddy Joey and his team from Mountain Air are going to install. Hallelujah! Woo! This has to go all the way up into that attic space? Yeah, we're going to bring this three-ton ream air handler all the way Sorry. up to the third floor. You said this is three tons? It like weighs three tons? No. And this goes all so the way up? It probably weighs like 75 pounds, so you, ah. you'd be all right. 75 pounds? This is more like 112. All right, squat move, squat, we're going down. Shoulders, biceps, pectorals, here we go, engage. Oh, right. He's getting a little older, that's I it. I am, mm -hmm. I know. Not all of us age as gracefully as you do, Joey. Oh, uh, we're, we're all aging gracefully. The AC is pumping, but we are still under a massive time crunch. Oxana's family members are on their way, so we gotta make sure that this house really feels like home. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Every moment the door opened, my heart jumped up, but it wasn't them, it wasn't them. <laughs> George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. It is a hot one, folks. We got JB insulation and drywall here. Pulled up the rugs and wow, beautiful hardwood floors. Can't wait to get Joe and the team from Huggins in here to refinish these. But before we refinish these floors, we're gonna paint these walls. The best way I can help our team from Amazing Painting is I can run ahead of them with some 3M high strength small hole patch. That way if there's any nicks, anything in the walls, I can just go around, hit it, wipe it, sand it, disappears. 
As you can see, the walls are in great shape. I'm gonna protect the casing and the trim with Scotch Blue Ultra Sharp Lines because I know Levette is putting an amazing color on these walls. 90 degree tear every time. You know, you can feel it on this job site. Every job site's special, but on this one, you can feel people coming in here because they want to do something for the people in Ukraine. When Everton was coming down the walk, I'm walking past him, you see it right there on his shirt. The Ukrainian flag over his heart. And his wife is Ukrainian. And when we asked them if they would help this family, they jumped right in. Throw the stone in a pond, you see the ripples. I am here, it looks beautiful inside, and it is ready for us to, you Morning. know, zhuzh it up. Terrific, terrific. Well, I have a little surprise for you. Okay. Um, and I'll share that with you when I get there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Quickly reinvigorate your wall space with Scotch Painter's Tape and 3M. Repair those pesky nicks and nail holes. Get sharp paint lines and take your heavyweight decor to another level. It's all about having the right tools for the job. For more information, visit 3MDIY.com. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I wish I was. I'm just, I feel terrible. Thought I could skateboard still. Guess I, uh, I'm not Tony Hawk. Who knew? Yeah. Knew. I know that Oksana's family is on the way. Some way, shape, or form, I am here to help. This is getting done. This is getting done. I have been doing this for a long time and have come to expect the unexpected on the rescue, but I never thought I'd end up with an injury like this. I may be down a knee, but thankfully, design is in great hands with Levette. A little dosy dough with the furniture. Excellent. Let there be light. My design idea is just to create a sanctuary in both spaces. We need to have a flexible space with multiple sleeping opportunities, but also because they are coming from a war zone, I wanted a place where they could feel safe and just feel like they could relax and breathe for the first time in a long time. We're setting the family up with Filtrate's smart air purifier. It's Wi-Fi enabled, detects particles in the air, and automatically adjusts the fan speed until the air quality is normal. Boom. We have the adults and we have a really beautiful space set up for them. And then we have two sweet little kids. We have Max who's two and Sophia who's six. I want them to live in a fun, perfect space for kids where they get to be kids. They get to have fun, they get to jump on their loft bed, they get to color, they get to draw. Levette. I couldn't sit here and do nothing, so I put command strips on all these frames. I love the Ukrainian artist stuff and I really love the personal stuff from your kids and their classmates. I mean, that's just so cool. It really meant a lot for them. They were super excited to do it. I put together post-it notes, welcome to the USA, we're really glad you're here. Some beautiful drawings made by little kids to just let them know that as a whole, our community is so happy that they're coming. Wow, we barely made it to the finish line. Time is up. Oksana's family will be landing in a couple of hours. I am incredibly proud of this project. The world seems so big sometimes, but if you look at it and you find somebody that you can help, they'll help somebody else. It's a chain reaction. It's time to show Mill and Oksana what we were able to do in these spaces and then let them go and get their loved ones. Oh my gosh. Wowza. God, oh! This is like home for them. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is so oh, cool. What? They'll come in and they'll be like, oh, this is our place. That is exactly what I had hoped for and it's exactly what's there. Where did all this come from? I hope you enjoy the USA. You're welcome. I saw on the wall there's this uh, these these framed post-its with messages on them. Friendly, loving messages in Ukrainian yes. colors, the yellow and the blue of the flag. And Ukrainian language. Oh! <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Look at the dinosaurs from Max. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> when she starts Ukrainian school, alphabet. The kids' nook, I love the kids' nook. I'm in love with the kids' nook. Yes. I wish I could stay in the kids' nook. Yes, <laughs> the, yes, the, the light, bed. the bunk bed. <gasps> <laughs> the floors immediately. Look at the pictures. Look at this. Oh, this is 
is great. Oh man! Now we're talking. <laughs> I didn't know it could look like this. This is so nice. They're going to be so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how to express myself to appreciate what you are doing and you have done because you are thinking about every teeny tiny little detail. The thoughtfulness. I mean, the, the room is beautiful. And um, yeah, this In is... In such a short time, to turn these two rooms into something so welcoming, it's beyond me. So what do you guys think? That is unbelievable. Oh, it is speechless. absolutely unbelievable. All this fun right here. No words. I wish we had had three months, but we had like three weeks. The heart that, that George gave uh, to this project, the, that the whole team gave to this project, it, this whole team is shedding some light onto the actual yeah. issues going on in yeah. Ukraine. You know, it's not just about the news, it's about actual people. I'm glad we were able to get this done, so literally in the a nick of time, because I know you guys are yes. on your way to the airport to get them. Now's what we've been working towards. They're gonna yes. be here tomorrow. We're gonna go a get them. A few more hours, yeah, and the house is going to be filled with all the screaming and, and talking and a little bit of crying. That's inevitable. <laughs> Day. We're going to the airport to pick up my sister, her daughter-in-law, and two little munchkins. And they are arriving in 10 minutes. <laughs> Just my heart is just coming out. <laughs> I'm super excited. There's a lot of uncertainty, and bringing them over here makes me feel like there's going to be some certainty. Uh, so they'll be safe and uh, we'll be able to keep them safe. I, I don't know why, but I'm nervous. My hands are sweating. I know everything will be fine. I know what, where they're coming from. It's not, uh, it's not the regular country they're coming from. It's the country in the war. I can only imagine how my sister feels leaving both of her sons there and her husband. It's gonna be exciting to see them again. What is it mean on approach? Is it They're coming, they're coming. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. We were getting ready for this moment for a few months, then a few weeks, and then a few days. Every moment the door opened, my heart jumped up, but it wasn't them, it wasn't them. <laughs> Now, now I am calm, and because my sister is here and she is choking me. <laughs> <laughs> 
славну Україну, гей, гей, розвеселимо. Чого ж наша славна Україна, гей, гей, розвеселимо. Tatiana and Katya feel so welcomed. They feel like they are at home. The kids are running and they're laughing and giggling and squealing <laughs> from happiness. <laughs> They were incredibly touched by those post-it notes, um, yes, from the kids. They said that the journey was fine. Tatiana told me that on Friday when they were going to Poland, they passed through a, the, the, a little town that has a military base outside the town. And this morning, today, it was bombed. And they were there yesterday. I have two words. Я приїхала до себе додому. Я була тут три роки назад. Так як як того часу не було. Мені тут все рідне, все рідне. She says she was here three years ago, but right now she she came here like she came home. Everything she looks at feels like it's her own, like she's home. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.